Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Steve coming at you. Hope you're having a great day. Well, the adventures of Kwame Brown continue. <laughs> well, here's the newest thing in case you haven't heard. Uh, Charlemagne the God went on his show, The Breakfast Club, and he called himself the donkey of the day and uh, publicly apologized on his show to Kwame Brown and his family. And he's kind of slick in the way he did it because he said he apologized because he talked to some people who uh, told him he was wrong and, and he shouldn't have gone out like that and all this sort of stuff. So he apparently had to hear from some other people before he realized what he did was wrong. Uh, and he was kind of slick about the apology. Now, if it's genuine, great. If it's not, who knows? He went on to apologize. But I can tell you one person who went accepting the apology. <laughs> Kwame Brown ain't trying to hear it because what Charlemagne did, there was a fight between Kwame Brown and the fellas from All the Smoke, Stephen Jackson and Matt Barnes. It was an A and B conversation. Charlemagne decided to see his way in it. And was how how's that saying go? If you come for me and I didn't send for you. It's going to be a problem. So now he don't want no more smoke. The guys with all the smoke don't want no more smoke because it's apparently Steven Jackson, his former teammate, or somebody he played with, uh, it's my understanding, uh, came out uh, and and said on Instagram, whatever, everybody's doing stuff for the gram. They can't just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? But apparently him and Kwame talked. And they, they, he apologized, and apparently they're good. I don't know how true that is. That's what Steven Jackson's saying. But at any rate, uh, the, for sure Kwame's not having nothing Charlemagne has to say. <laughs> he's still wanting the Breakfast Club to be over. And he's got the same attitude when it comes to Stephen A. Smith, who clowned on him for years. And uh, all these people, one man, in Georgia, I think I think Kwame's in Atlanta, Georgia. You can check out his YouTube channel, uh, Kwame Brown uh, Bus Life. It's it's hilarious. <laughs> but check him out. Uh, one man went up against the system, and now the system don't want no more smoke. All these all the smoke folks don't want no smoke. <laughs> They're not trying to have no smoke, uh, which is hilarious. <laughs> and of course, Charlemagne the God. Then they don't want to see. And my belief is because he's exposing something that they don't want to expose. See, if he was just out there talking about himself and he was crazy like everybody's saying he's crazy, then there wouldn't be an issue. But what happened was he got a huge following and he's got the people on his side. And let me let y'all you know, let, let in on something. Um, Kwame Brown, the way you see him, that guy, the way he is, that's how he really is. He's talking about sprinkling mama's cooking on stuff. He's talking about that. That's that's the real dude. Because I'm telling you, I was born and raised in Georgia. I was born and spent my childhood in Augusta, Georgia. I got family in Atlanta. Uh, just like I guess he's in Atlanta. Uh, I grew up with dudes like that. That's that's him. That's him for real. Okay? Uh, and one little Georgia country boy that people have been clowning on for decades just knocked down the elites in the system. <laughs> it's hilarious. None of them want none. Ain't nobody trying to talk about Kwame now. None of them want none. Matt Barnes, uh, Becky with the good hair, she might still be tripping, but nobody else wants none. And it's good to see, man. I'm happy for you, Kwame. Um, I, I, I feel you, man. These people have been talking about black folks for long enough in a derogatory manner and trying to have us feel bad about who we are and, and I don't, I've never understood why rich black folks in the media are always talking about how dependent black folks should be on the government and like we can't do nothing for ourselves. And the message you're giving, giving across is how we can be strong people and strong men and we can, should teach these young guys about character and how to do things the right way. When we come from nothing, a lot of us come from nothing beautiful message man and that's what they don't want they want to silence that message so they figure if they apologize to you that'll silence you but keep doing you Kwame I'm with you bro at any rate if y'all agree with this message let me know if you don't let me know that too please like it share and subscribe I appreciate all y'all especially new subscribers 
I look forward to talking to y'all again soon. Y'all take care. I will put a link in the in the in the in the description for Kwame's response to both both the Breakfast Club Charlemagne's uh, apology and Kwame's response in the comments. At any rate, y'all have a good day. We'll talk again soon.